Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, and I am glad to see you showed up today. Um, I'm going to talk about QuickBooks Point of Sale and how you can print jewelry tags out of your point of sale for all of your wonderful little tiny items where you need to wrap the price tag around them because they're so darn jewelry tags and they come off like this. They are actually for wrapping around teeny tiny things. So one side normally is going to have your price on it. Actually, I'll grab some here that are already printed. All right, one side is going to have your price on it and the other side is gonna have your barcode so you can scan it at the checkout. Very useful. You just wrap that right around something tiny. Here, I have a teeny tiny little screwdriver. If you can see this, if I wanted to sell this teeny tiny screwdriver, I couldn't put a big old price tag on it, so I would wrap a jewelry tag around it. One side would have my price, and the other side would have my barcode, and somebody could bring this up to the register and buy a teeny tiny screwdriver with a jewelry tag. <clears throat> so, jewelry tags, when you print them out on the roll, are a little bit special. Uh, these tags are so different than the large tags that you need some special settings for them actually. Here I have my Zebra ZD410 which is the QuickBooks point of sale price tag printer of choice. It's the one that you get from Intuit and you open the top by pulling these yellow levers on both sides. Inside here you can see the little holders which you will pull all the way apart in order to get your jewelry tag roll in there. And then you'll let it go. You want the jewelry tag to come over the top. And then you're gonna back it up almost to the final tag, have it stick out a little bit, and then you'll close the top on it. Right away you'll notice that there is a green light as well as an orange pause light and you're going to put you're going to go ahead and hit the pause button in order to advance the tags out a few. Okay. So once it has done that, I think we're set. Then you're going to choose all of your wonderful little jewelry items on your item list. And I'm going to hold down the control button so that I can choose charm necklace and what else? Do we have anything else that's tiny I don't know a little pocket knife I guess I got down here so I got two things selected I'm gonna hit print tags now it's gonna jump up the print dialog and you're gonna make sure that you have your ZD410 is selected at the top if it's not you need to reset your hardware settings so that it knows it's a tag printer and then we've got the selected items and I'm gonna choose two copies of each however down here I'm on the item template for these large tags actually, so I'm going to want to change that to jewelry tags. So I'm going to do jewelry tag, I'm going to do it with the barcode. For some reason the default tag doesn't even have barcode, it just says the item number, which I think is a little crazy. Now also, the special part on these tags is they have these little black bars in between each and every tag and that actually tells the printer how to advance. So we have a little check mark here that says use the black bar indexing for jewelry tags. There you go. I'm also going to adjust start position for jewelry tags so that it does it correctly. So now that we've put in the special settings so that the jewelry tags will come out correctly, I'm going to print. And there you have it. We have four tags coming out for four different items that we can wrap around our items just like I showed you. Wonderful. I actually even have a customer who uses these teeny tiny tags and he uses them in his cigar shop because it's like the perfect width where he just slaps these right on the body of the cigar in his smoke shop and then he prints them out, sticks them on his cigars and sells cigars all day long with jewelry tags. My name's Peter with Black Rock Business, and that was printing jewelry tags out of QuickBooks Point of Sale. You have yourself a stupendous day.